Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativestylelab.tv, where audio recording is an art form. Well, today we're gonna to be talking and demonstrating the concept of pushing a preamp pretty hard and really getting the most out of our guitar tones. A couple weeks ago, I put out a video uh, just kind of demonstrating, um, drawing on the glass here on kind of the concept of shaping tones um, with you know pushing preamps hard. A lot of times we think of pushing a circuit, we think, oh, immediately, hey, you know, we'll do that with a guitar amp. Uh, but there are some solid state things in the studio that really can exhibit some additional flavors um, that they don't necessarily have when they're um, you know, at their lowest volume. So we're gonna be doing kind of a compare and contrast today. Um, guitar amp at kind of the lowest volume. Um, granted, this is a pretty hot amp going into a mic, um, but um, contrasting you know, low volumes and high volumes and just comparing the sound difference of the two examples. And for this, we're gonna be using a Rode NTR. Uh, it's a ribbon mic, it's active. Um, it's recording a Fender Bassman reissue. And the NTR will be going into a Warm Audio TB12. So in order to really push a preamp pretty hard, you have to have a way to turn the volume down after the preamp. You're essentially adding more gain that's really needed. And when we add more gain, we're able to bring out more colors of the preamp. The problem is, is to go into the converters without clipping those converters. I usually like to have somewhere, you know, negative 10, even negative 15 or 20. I just like to have lots of headroom going into my converters. The trick is, is to get a way to turn down that volume so you're not clipping your converters or you're not eating up a bunch of your headroom and really risk um, any sort of digital clipping. And so the best way for this is to have some sort of attenuation. Uh, some preamps actually have this built in, like the TB12 here has an attenuator built in so we can ride down the volume as we're able to ride up the gain to get most of our flavor. Uh, you can also build a padded cable. Um, I have a couple different U pads um, that I've soldered into the XLR cable. You can look this up on Google, just look up U pad. Uh, and then something like Little Labs has a box that has eight channels of quality attenuation that's built for this exact purpose, writing uh, preamps very hot and then turning it down afterwards so that you don't clip the converters. Now on a console, uh, this would be done just at the fader. So, uh, you know, they could, you know, ride the preamp gain real hard and keep the faders down. You know, it, it was all kind of in that channel strip there. So this first example is basically gonna be as if uh, the fader, or in this case, the attenuator, was not engaged at all. This is all the way to the right, uh, basically at unity gain. Uh, we're just gonna be using the gain that we need in this first example. Let's check it out. Okay, now in this example, we're gonna be pushing that preamp pretty hard. We can see from the meter that it's pretty maxed, but I'm gonna be using my ears. I really don't follow the meters. And basically what I do is I'm able to use that attenuator on the right to make sure the converters don't clip, but then I ride the gain up as far as possible until I actually get some crackling uh, within the preamp, some really unpleasant distortion. And then from there, I dial it back about 10%, and that's really kind of my hot guitar tone, my really, really hot pushed preamp guitar tone. Let's check it out.
a little bit about how I dial in um, a really hot preamp. For something like guitar, I love doing it. Uh, and when you have a built-in attenuator, it makes it a lot easier. A couple of different preamps that have that feature, I really like having that feature. Um, so it's definitely a plus if your preamp has that built-in attenuator. It makes this process a whole lot easier. Otherwise, you can look up on Google, just look up a U-pad. Um, it just looks like a U with the shape of the, uh, with the resistors. And you do have to know a little bit about soldering to be able to do that. Um, but that's a very effective way also to be uh, attenuating the signal that's coming out of your preamp. Now, if you have any questions about this episode, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. I'll be hanging out there. I'll talk to you soon.